What are you doing? Windshield, who are you talking about? It's my own business. Okay or not? I need to go to the bathroom. I suddenly found that the door could not be opened. My cell phone is still in there. Don't even want to smash the car window. Take out your cell phone. Then your cell phone can't do anything. There's no need to smash the glass. You give me the key. Let me teach you a lesson. Fast. There is a small mechanism on the key. There's a mechanical key hidden inside. We just need a little stroke. You can take it out. Then find the hole under the door handle. A gentle pry. The locked cylinder inside is exposed. Then insert the key. A slight twist. The door opens. Oh, wow yeah. Ah, hey, why can't my car start? This is the key. It's dead. When you get off our car, it can start in an emergency. Generally, there is a sensing area under the steering wheel. That's the sign. Let's stick the key on. Then you can light a fire. It's so easy for me to go. But it's all hidden. You don't say. I really don't know there are many functions hidden in the car. I'll tell you a few more. Some can save money. Some can save lives. You watch it first. In case the brakes fail on the road, don't panic. All we have to do is buckle the electronic handbrake, switch, keep tight. The vehicle can stop steadily. Second, the car doesn't shift into gear. Never rush to call a trailer, so as not to waste money. All we have to do is break off the dust boot on the handle. There is a small yellow button inside. Let's press it down. You can shift gears directly. Third, after using the car for a long time, this screen will become particularly insensitive. Don't rush to the repair shop at this time. We just press and hold the on key and the medium key. Keep tight. The screen will be forced to restart so we can recover as good as a new car. Four. It can save your life when it's critical. Trapped in the car. I can't get out. Don't panic. Let's put down the rear seats. Drill into the trunk. Then there is an escape switch on the door panel of the boot. That's the little lid. We can pull it open and see a white button inside. How about opening the trunk for emergency escape with a flick? Pay attention. If the video helps you, you can order a little red heart. You can find it anytime you want to use you can it. You bring more money here. That's the scratch. You need to touch up the paint. I can handle it with toothpaste. Watch it. You can save a lot of money without bragging. We just put toothpaste on the scratches. Then wipe it back and forth with a towel. Don't blink. A magical scene is about to happen. Do you think the scratch is gone? Wow. Besides, this toothpaste can not only remove scratches. It has many functions. Especially the last point. 90% of the people don't know. First. On rainy days. Water can easily accumulate on the rear view mirror. Especially affecting the line of sight. Actually, we just need to take a tube of toothpaste and smear it back and forth on the mirror. Spread it well. So there will be no water on the lens. Second. After the wiper blades have been used for a long time, it won't clean the glass. Actually, we just need to fill a little toothpaste on the wiper strip. Spread it well. So the glass will be scraped clean. Finally, if rats often enter the engine compartment, it will bite the lines and oil pipes on the car. Actually, we just take a mint toothpaste 
and apply it to the engine compartment. How about the mouse being away from your car? Does toothpaste have a great effect? I'm Brother Sol. Pay attention to me. There are still a thousand cars. When we drive, it's easy for bad guys to steal electric cars and strangle their necks. At this time, we must not stretch forward or pull it with your hands. There's no escape. We need to put our face on him. This leaves a gap between the seat and the artery. We put one hand in. You can't pull if you don't pull. We have to turn by hand. At the same time, find a chance to put the other hand in. Turn up together. Only in this way can we get out of trouble. Trouble. This method can only save you for a while, so how to avoid this kind of thing? In fact, our car has a hidden function to protect our safety. Let's find the vehicle on the central control screen. Click settings. There is a door and window switch inside. Click in. All doors are unlocked by default. Let's set it as a single door. After setting, only the left front door can be opened when we unlock it. The other doors are open. Girls who drive alone must set it up. Only in this way can we protect our safety. Hurry up and forward this video to your girlfriends. Girlfriends. I'm Brother Soon. Keep an eye on me. There are... Found the brakes useless. The speed didn't slow down at all. The brakes suddenly failed while we were driving. What should I do? Many people slam the steering wheel when they are nervous. Or push the door open and jump. This is very dangerous. Today, I'll teach you how to deal with emergency in case of brake failure. In fact, in addition to the brakes, there is also a braking system. That's the handbrake. Now I'll try it for you in a closed space. Encounter brake failure. We just need to hold the electronic handbrake switch by hand. Keep tight. The vehicle can stop steadily. Another special point. If you only pull the electronic handbrake while driving, the vehicle will judge that you have my separated. No action will be taken. There are many people who will ask. If I pull the handbrake while driving, will it damage your car? Of course not, because the handbrake system is connected with the stability system of the car body. How about the steady evaluation of the vehicle teacher? Don't forget to share it with loved ones. Pay attention to me. Bra at a charge at least 800 yuan for these things in the car when you go to the repair shop. W but we can solve them ourselves for a few dollars. First. Uneven cover. Large gap. Let's look for this black rubber column on the back of the cover and tighten it against it. This will make the gap smaller. Second, the air filter element is dirty. Let's just break off these two shovels. I'll give it to you. It can be replaced directly. Third, the rear mirror on the car is broken. You go to the 4th S store to change. It will let you change the whole assembly. I'll charge you at least 1800W. In fact, we just need to get a car key. A slight tilt from under the rear mirror. You can remove the old lens. Then go online and spend a few yuan to buy a new lens of the same model. Aim it at the base of the rear mirror and press it in gently. Hear a quack. The whole rear mirror is installed. Fourth, wiper blade aging, including clean glass. Let's just find this little clip on the wiper blade and move it away. Gently pull down. The old wiper blade can be removed. Then go online and spend a few dollars to buy a new one and plug it back in. In this way, the glass will be scraped clean. Oh, the illumination rate of driving headlights is very dark at night. Not bright enough. We just need to find this dust cover behind the headlights. Take it off. You can see the bulb socket inside. Turn it gently clockwise. You can take it off. Then press the clip open. Go online and spend tens of dollars to buy a LE bulb of the same model. Bring it back to everyone. 
The headlights shine out at night as bright as during the day. The air outlet of the air conditioning is very small. Let's just open VIP. How many boxes? Pull out the old A, C filter element inside. A new problem can be solved. 7. After driving for a long time. It's very hard to open the trunk. In fact, the hydraulic struts is broken. Let's just take a screwdriver and pry off this piece of iron. The problem can be solved by replacing a new hydraulic strut. Change these things. Just a few dollars. Do you still send money to the repair shop? I'm Sigo. Pay attention to me. There are still a What are you doing? The sun is so hot, it's dangerous for you to sleep in the car. I turned on the air conditioner. What am I afraid of? Turn on the air conditioner and sleep in the car. That's even more dangerous. At this time, the engine is still in the idle state of non-stop fuel injection. Its efficient combustion of gasoline will produce a lot of carbon monoxide. And the carbon monoxide will enter the car through the air conditioning outlet. People who sleep in cars are prone to poisoning. It happens every year. Many people don't wake up in time and summer, except you can't sleep in the car. These things must not be done. First of all, never put carbonated drinks in the car. In summer, the temperature in the car can be as high as 60 or 70 degrees. Shake gently like coke. It expands. It's easy to explode in a car in summer. You see, there's also a power bank and a lighter. These are inflammables and explosives. In the car in summer, let the sun shine like this. If you are not careful, you will burst the front windshield. In addition, never put glasses and mineral water in the car. These things are refracted by the sun, will form a focus. It's easy to light the dashboard. Finally, snacks can't be put in the car. The bags of these things are packed at high temperature. It is very easy to volatilize toxic grease, and the things inside will deteriorate. It's very bad for our health. Go and check your car for these things. If any, throw it away. Pay attention to me. There are also a hey, hey. Why is it so cold in your armrest box? And you see, you see, the water is freezing. Oh dear, that's okay. I opened the small refrigerator inside. Where is a small refrigerator? Why didn't I watch? It's not just you. 90% of the people don't know. Come, I'll tell you how to use it. Especially simple. First find a C in the central control and open it. At the same time, adjust the temperature to L0. Then open the glove box of the co-pilot. In a humble position above. One knob is off by default. Let's turn clockwise. Position the snowflake outward. This small refrigerator began to cool. How to use it? I'm brother fan. Window is open well. And safe air conditioning. Unnecessary. First, there is a peculiar smell in the car. Close a window. Open the other three windows. In this way, a peculiar smell can be discharged quickly. Second, when someone in the car smokes, open the smoker's sunproof window. Two finger wide gap. Because of the negative pressure, smoke will be discharged quickly. Third, want a quick the driver's window is half open, diagonal window half open. In this way, the hot air in the car will be discharged quickly. Fourth, half open the rear window. The sunroof is open by one third. Don't move the other windows. In this way, the wind is soft and cool. It should be noted that do not open a single rear window or two windows of the same color because the noise inside the car will be particularly loud and people in the car 
car will be very uncomfortable by the wind, and don't lower all the windows, because the driving resistance is very large. Fuel consumption will also be very high. Have you learned? I'm brother Tsung. Pay attention to me. This is the C button on the car. This function means you have used it well. It's both fuel efficient and comfortable. After many people buy cars, I was stunned to see so many buttons on the air conditioning area. Let me tell you today. First, turn on the air conditioning in summer. Open a C open internal circulation. The refrigeration effect is first class. In the second winter, turn on the air conditioner. Turn off a C and turn on the external circulation. In this way, the glass is not easy to frost, and it's especially fuel efficient. Third, turn on the air conditioner on rainy days. Open a VII. Open external circulation. At the same time, adjust the blowing mode to glass blowing. In this way, there will be no fog on the glass. Four, turn on the air conditioning in a traffic jam. Open a C. Open internal circulation. In this way, the exhaust in the car will never enter the car again. Have you learned? Pay attention to us and have us a not sent when driving. He also hides four secrets. At least 300 million people don't know, especially the first and last. Proposal. Let's talk about collection first. I'm sure you can use it. First, the car broke down after being put in. No one helped me push. We pulled the seatbelt as long as possible. Close the door. Put it on our shoulders. In this way, you can use your whole body to push the cart. The right hand can also grasp the direction. Even if you are a little girl, it's easy to push. Second, when we bought the car, we pulled the seat belt to the longest. Check the tail for sediment, if any. This car is probably a bubble car. Never buy. Third, let's look at the production date on the seat belt when we buy the car. Then open the front passenger door. Compare the production date on the famous brand. If it's different from the seat belt, it means that this car is likely to be an accident car. Finally, if we get stuck in the car, we can't get out. The glass edge can be hit by the buckle on the safety belt, so you can break the window and escape. Do you think seat belts are very useful? I'm brother Tsung. Pay attention to me and say there are still a thousand spaces are getting narrower and narrower. Moreover, there are all kinds of parking spaces you can't get in anyway. But today I'll teach you a trick so that you can work hard in all kinds of parking spaces. When backing into the warehouse, drive forward in parallel along the data line. When the rearview mirror is aligned with the trouser leg of the target parking space, turn the steering wheel full to the right and drive drive forward. When we can just see the trouser leg of the target parking space in the left rear view mirror, turn the steering wheel full to the left and back up. Stop the car on the second board. When parking on the side, drive parallel to the parking space line. When the ears of the car are aligned with those of the car in front, turn the steering wheel to the full right. Back up when you can fully see the car behind you. In the left rear mirror, turn the steering wheel straight back when it is in the right rear view mirror. I saw the handle of the front door cross with the teeth of the road. Turn the steering wheel to the left, and the car enters the parking space smoothly. When parking on an oblique line, drive parallel to the seat line. When the rear view mirror is aligned with the trouser leg of the target, turn the steering wheel full to the left and drive forward. When it is seen from the rear view mirror that the vehicle body and the parking space line are parallel and aligned, how about reversing the steering wheel? Is the path perfect? Perfect. Is it very simple? I still have Because the distance between the vehicle body and the surrounding obstacles is often not judged, scratches often occur. After watching this video, you can sit in the car and know the situation outside the car like the back of your hand. First, when parking, in front is Marais. Keep an eye on the rear view mirror. When the lower edge of the rear view mirror coincides with the lower edge of the rear view mirror. Apply the brake immediately. At this time, the distance is just 30 centimeters. Second, 
when reversing. In the back is horse teeth, staring at the front door handle from the rear view mirror. When the door handle coincides with the more curtain, apply the brake immediately. At this time, the distance is just 50 centimeters. Third, judge the distance from the vehicle in front. When you can't see the lower edge of the rear bumper of the front car, step on the brake immediately. At this time, the distance is only one meter. Fourth, judge the distance from the rear vehicle. From the inside rear view mirror, you can only see the windshield of the car behind you. The brakes are blocked. At this time, the distance is only 50 centimeters. Fifth, when meeting, keep an eye on the lower left or right corner of the windshield. When the lower left or right corner coincides with the headlights of the other vehicle, can pass safely. Center people have driven for more than 10 years, but I don't even know these hidden functions on the car. What a pity. Today, I'll tell you all the eight hidden functions in the car. Learn to save your life at a critical moment. First, the sun visor can not only block the sun in front, it can also block the sunlight on the side. Second, the rear lights are dazzling when driving at night. Let's just push the wrench under the rear view mirror. You can turn on the anti-glare function of the rear view mirror. Third, there is a small square in front of the bumper. Pull it off and screw in the hook can be used to tow. Fourth, there is an emergency escape switch in the trunk of our car. We just need to take the car key and gently dial it to escape. Fifth, there is a wrench under the steering wheel. You can adjust the height of the steering wheel by pulling the steering wheel. Sixth, which side does the fuel tank triangle arrow on the instrument panel point to? Which side is the fuel tank cap outside the car? Seventh, there is a child safety lock on the side of the door. After opening, children can't open the door when they sit in the back. Eighth, uneven lacing, large gap. Let's open the engine compartment. Find the black knob on the back of the cover. Turn it clockwise to reduce the gap. Turn it counterclockwise to enlarge the gap. See if the gap is getting smaller. Pay attention to me. Families maintain their cars by themselves. And we need to spend thousands of dollars on it every year. First. Just move these two clips. The air filter element can be replaced directly. Second, just loosen the two small screws and the battery can be replaced directly. Third, just remove this screw. The spark plug can be replaced. Fourth, just pry off the buckle. The hydraulic brace can be replaced. Fifth, remove the oil pan. This screw can change the oil directly. Sixth, Open the value added glove box. Turn this knob on. You can directly replace the air conditioning filter element. The seventh is to uncover the small lid. The wiper blade can be replaced directly. Car maintenance is so simple. Do you still send money to the repair shop? I'm Brother Song. Pay attention to me. There are, are still so wrong to tie the trailer rope like this. It's strange to teach you a stone today. Can't wait for skills. First open the trunk. Take out the tow bar from under the cover. Then find the small cover on the front bumper. You can pull it off with one touch. Insert the falling hook. Tighten counterclockwise. Let's fold the tow line in half through the long side of the tow bar. The short side is the auxiliary rope. Then take out the main rope from the loop. Wrap the auxiliary rope around the main rope once. Fold it in half. Go through the loop above. Now tighten the main rope. This will only get tighter and tighter. The first method is also called mad cow. Stone cattle can't pull away. It's also very simple to unlock. Let's just grab the vice governor and gently pull it off. Have you learned? Follow my home page. There are still a thousand active of the co-pilot in our car. It's actually a small refrigerator. 99% of people can't use it. First, find a C in the central control area and open it. Then adjust the temperature to L0. Then open the storage box of the co-pilot. In this inconspicuous position above, 
Find this knob. The default is off. Let's open it and turn it clockwise. Position the snowflake outward. The small refrigerator began to cool. How about it? Is it very practical? Paying attention. Oh, what? Do you think the door handle can only be used to open the door? In fact, it plays a great role. Today I'll tell you three secrets about the door handle. Keep an eye on the right rear view mirror when parking on the first side. When you see that the door handle just intersects with the road teeth, the water kills the steering wheel, and the car stops smoothly. Second, if you encounter a dead car in front of you while driving, keep an eye on the door handle. When you can't see him, step on the brake immediately. At this time, the distance is exactly 10 centimeters. Third, when you open the door and get off, Keep an eye on the door handle of the next car. When the door handle is on the same horizontal line as our door frame, at this time, no matter how you open the door, you won't touch the car next to you. I pay attention to my home page and have a thousand else's car press the lock button. The lens can be folded automatically. Look, the one next to it is also folded in this way. The rear mirror can be prevented from being scratched when parking. Because there is a motor assembly inside, although it costs thousands of yuan, then why can't your car? In fact, this function is hidden. Today I'll tell you how to set it up. Let's click settings on the central control screen. Find the rear view mirror and wiper and click in the hook. Select the inside fold of the exterior rear mirror. This will be the time to lock the car after the setting is completed. The rear view mirror can fold automatically. Do you think only this function is hidden? You are wrong. In fact, there are three more. Double click to collect them. Each one is very practical. When you unlock it the first time, all four doors can be opened which is very unsafe. It's easy for bad guys to get out of other doors. Your car is in the settings of the central control screen. Find the door and window switch and click in. All doors are unlocked by default. Let's set it as a single door. In this way, only the left front door can be opened. When unlocking in the future, other doors can't be opened. It's very safe. Second, the car's own navigation is too difficult to use. Some cars don't even have navigation. In fact, we can put the navigation on the mobile phone on the central control screen. Let's take a charging cable and plug one end into the mobile phone. Plug the other end into the USB interface on the vehicle. Then select CarPlay. Click OK and wait for two seconds. In this way, the navigation on the mobile phone will be directly put on the central control screen. In fact, it can not only operate navigation, like other content on the mobile phone, you can operate it directly. It's very easy to use. Third, our screen often gets stuck. Even crash, many people will only run to the repair shop. You go to the repair shop, and they press you casually. We have to repair hundreds of people and encounter a black heart. Even lets you change the screen. In fact, we just press and hold the on key and media key for 5 seconds. The screen will be forced to restart and the problem will be solved. How about it? Have you learned? There I'm free brothers. parking spaces tomorrow. But there are cars all around. Many people can't stop in. Actually, just remember my words. You can put it into the warehouse by reversing. Today's video is dry. I suggest you like it first and collect it. And pass it on to your friends. Because this is really a very useful video. Good. Starting now. First of all, Let's drive forward parallel to the setting line of the dormitory.
when the second car is aligned with the parking space line next to it. Let's put it away. Go ahead. When the cry of the target parking space can be seen from the nuclear weapon, can you turn the steering wheel to the left? When you see the body parallel to the in the rear view mirror, at this time, the direction has been corrected. Keep falling back. What happens when the ear of the car butts with the ear of the car next to it? You can stop. How? Does it stop? It's so simple to back up and put it into storage. I'm Brother Sol. I have 1000 car knowledge. While we were driving, the tire accidentally fell into the ditch. 90% of people can only call a trailer. Today I'll teach you a trick. One person can drive the car out. First step on the brake and reverse. Turn the steering wheel in the direction of the tire falling. Step on the accelerator to 3500 revolutions. Release the handbrake. The car will be damaged. fell into the water. Many people cannot escape because the car will sink soon after falling into the water. Plus many people don't know the right way to save themselves. You'll miss the best chance to escape. Let me share it today. After an emergency, how to get out of the car quickly. This video, life can be saved at a critical moment. Quickly like it and share it with your friends. After a car falls into the water, don't be reluctant to give up the property in the car. When the water hasn't overflowed the window, open the door and escape if the water has overflowed the window. At this time, the door cannot be opened due to water pressure. Then we should find a way to break the window quickly. As a result, the load-bearing glass is relatively strong. You can't kick it with your foot. We should pull out the headrest quickly. Insert the sharp part of the headrest into the side eye of the ceramic tile. A hard pry can quickly get the second chance, which is known as when the water is about to fill the car. At this time, the pressure inside and outside the car is basically the same. Should immediately take a deep breath. Quickly open the door to escape. Third, if the door still doesn't open, you should quickly climb to the back, because the main parts of the car are in the front. The front of the car will sink first, and the rear of the car will tilt up. At this time, you should quickly put it in the rear seat and climb into the trunk. Let's find this small cover on the panel of the trunk. Pull it open and you can see a small piece of iron inside. You can open the trunk for emergency escape with one stroke. I hope you will never use these self-help methods, but we must master it correctly, because the critical moment can really save lives. How do you remember? I'm Brother Feng. Here, give me the key. This is a fan's car. He said he had a full flight on one of his papers. It costs 1000 yuan to go to the four day examination. Today, let's see if we can fix it for him at no cost. Now give it a try. Indeed, a, uh, B, S and anti slide lights are on. Now, let's use this diagnostic equipment to read it for you. Look at the problem and read the fault code first. Left front wheel speed sensor open circuit. Try clearing. Clearing is complete. However, the fault light on the instrument panel is still reading again. Still report the fault light. That means there must be a problem. Now let's take down the left front wheel. Let's see why we left Huang Jiajie. The tire has been removed. This is the left front wheel speed sensor I just mentioned. It is used to detect the speed of wheel A and B. If something goes wrong with this sensor, then the ABS function will fail. At the same time, the fault light will also be on the instrument panel. Now, I'll check it with this multimeter. It's easy to see what went wrong. 
Look carefully and follow the wire on the sensor to find the plug. It should be in this, you see. Let's use a multimeter to measure the resistance of this sensor. Normally, the resistance is about 1400 ohms. I'm not serious. Come on, look at this organization. It's now at 1334. This shows that there is no problem with the sensor itself. Let's take this sensor out now. See if there is any problem with the gap inside. Okay, the problem has been found. Come and have a look on the head of this sensor. Do you see so much iron powder when the tire rotates? The signal teeth inside will follow. In this way, the sensor will produce a signal. The speed of the vehicle can be reflected by the frequency of this signal. Too much iron powder will lead to incorrect gap or even short circuit. So there will be an alarm on the dashboard. Then you know the cause of the problem. It's very simple to solve. How? As long as the iron powder is cleaned up, the problem can be solved. Look how clean the sensor head is now. The iron powder has been cleaned up. Let's try to put it back. Okay, the sensor has been installed. Now let's plug this plug back in. See if the problem is solved. Okay, the sensor has been installed. Next, let's get in the car and start. See if the fault light on the instrument panel can go out. If it goes out. The old fellow helped me with a little heart and support. Next is the moment to witness. The problem has been completely solved. Is it very simple? And told me. His car makes a strange noise as soon as he steps on the brake. It makes a noise as soon as he steps on it. The 4 o'clock inspection quotation was sent. Today, I came to see if I could fix it for him at no cost. This is the tool I brought. Let's go. It should be him. Here, give me the key. I'll try it first. Let's go. There was a time. Go buy it. There is indeed a thought that the background is very harsh. But it's not difficult for those who can, and it's not difficult for those who can. Let's get out of the car and turn off the tire to see what's going on. Despite your company, put it under the car. The reason why this is safer and ideal has been found. Look, there are many grooves on this brake disc. Moreover, this groove is still very deep. I think it must have something to do with this. Then take out the brake pads now. See what's going on inside. Take a wrench and open the screw below. Come on. Look, this is the brake disc, and this is the brake pad. This is the brake caliper. When you step on the brake, the brake caliper clamps the brake pads, and the brake disc won't turn. Loose and can turn, clamped and can't turn. Loosen and turn. That's the principle of car braking. Just check these three places. 90% of the abnormal noise can be solved. Next, take out 12 tablets to see the reason for the good problem. I found it. Look at this brake pad. There are also more grooves, especially deep. The groove rubs with the groove on the brake disc. There will be a strange noise, but it's not over yet. Look at these two brake pads, one thin and the other thick. There is eccentric wear, which must be abnormal. We have to find out the reason, we have to ask the bottom. Otherwise, the change will be in vain. Next, I'll use the unique skill. Pay attention to the deflection of the brake pad. Most of it is because there is a problem with the guide box. You see, if I press it down, it won't bounce back automatically. Normally, it can return automatically. 
then pull it out next. See what's going on inside. Wow. Look, this guide is full of rust. It's strange that it can return automatically. Then find the cause of the problem. The solution is very simple. Take a piece of sandpaper and polish the groove on the brake pad first. Then you can polish off the rust on the guide box. Pull out the other retaining rope and polish it. Finally, take a can of butter and lubricate the guide ring. Lubricate the other one, too. Okay, put it back. You see, now it can return to the normal position, and the other one can also be installed. It can return to its normal position. Okay, install the brake pads. Put the screws back and the tires back, okay. The tires have been installed. Next, get on the bus and start to see if the brake still makes a sound. I'm not going to ring. Old fellow iron men give me a little heart to support. First step on the two foot brakes, step on the brakes hard, let's go. Carry away, carry away. The applause when I stepped on the brake has disappeared. The problem is completely solved, isn't it very simple? I'm Brother Song's video is I worth at least 5,000 yuan. <laughs> After the car is driven away, the headlights will become yellow and dark, not only very ugly, it also affects safety. At this time, don't spend thousands of yuan to change the headlights. Today I'll teach you a way. A few dollars can make the headlights as simple as new ones. You can hit me after school. It only takes two steps to renovate the headlights. The first step is to polish the headlamp surface with different types of sandpaper. Let's use 180 sandpaper to pour some water on the headlight first. Then just grind it directly. Look at the dirt on it. It's beginning to go down. See, 108. After the fight, the headlights have withered and yellow. Use 360 sandpaper below. The larger the label of sandpaper, the finer the sandpaper. Let's find a finer one and use 800. Look, now the lines have come out. It'll be the same as the new one later. It's very obvious. <laughs> The next 2000, the first mock exam of 2000 will be completed immediately. The headlights have been polished. The second step is very simple. The headlight can be repaired with shaving liquid. This whole set of tools are, are bought from the internet and are very cheap. Just pour half a cup. This video is worth at least 5000 yuan. The next step is to enjoy the miracle of the moment. After a while, if the headlights turn on, old fellow, help me with my little heart and support. You can see the light bulb inside. You say hello. The effect before comparison is very obvious. And the finer the grinding is the better the final effect, see, this headlamp has become the same as the new one, you see how obvious the contrast between the two is, moreover, this set of tools, has been used 5 or 6 times without any problem, is it very simple, I'm brother soon, pay attention to me, listen, you just heard that the wheel was breaking, there is a noise inside, which is very harsh, next, Let's take it apart, see what's going on inside. Pay attention, you'll get stuck when you go to repair the car after school. HMM, wow. Look at this brake disc. There's a mark on it. This circle is touched by hand. I can clearly feel that this circle is concave. The noise just now must have something to do with India. Next, I'll remove the brake caliper. Let's see what's going on inside. Let's get the adjustable wrench. Just find the screw below and remove it. Come on. Look, this is the brake caliper, and this is the brake pad. This is the brake disc, the brake caliper is stuck, and the brake pad. The brake disc can't rotate. 
It can rotate again if it is loosened. It's stuck and can't rotate. It's loose and can rotate. This is the principle of car braking. Now let's take out the brake pads and have a look. Later. Good. The cause of the problem has been found. Come and see. There are all kinds of hard spots on this brake pad. These hard spots rub against the sand table. It will make the noise just now. Now let's just polish off this hard spot. The problem can be solved. Let's buy a piece of sandpaper for 50 cents from the hardware store. Then put the brake pad on it and rub it back and forth. OK. It has been polished. Come on, look at these hard spots just now. You are gone. Next, I'll polish the other one. OK, both brake pads have been polished. Let's put it back and see the effect. OK. The tires are all installed now. Next, let's discuss how to start the color crane forklift and see if we still want to. Old fellow, if they don't want to, help me with my little heart and heart. The next step is to witness the miracle of the moment. Go. Yes. Go. Do you hear me? The harsh sound of stepping on the brake just now has disappeared. The problem has been completely solved. And the mark on the brake pad will disappear automatically after running for a period of time. The well, car has been you driving done? for a long time, and the braking effect is getting worse. What's the matter? In fact, there is a problem with the front brake oil. Many people think men can't do it when they hear about changing brake oil. You have to go to the repair shop. Don't you know the routine of the repair shop? If you don't charge the domestic labor fee, you can't get out at all. Today I'll teach you to do it yourself. You can change the brake oil in two minutes. If you can't learn to hit me, this is the new brake oil I bought online. Just spent a bowl of ramen money, and a pumping pipe was sent. Next, let's change the yellow nut on the car. The cover is brake oil. Let's unscrew it, then put the needle in. Can pump out this brake oil. Look at the color of the brake oil. Normally, it's clear. The braking effect of the monster is not good. Next, we pumped out the remaining brake oil from the pot. But don't pump it out. Leave a little, or it will get into the air. Things like changing brake oil. Why can Americans do it themselves? Many people say they have strong hands on ability. Bah. Otherwise, we are no worse than them in our practical ability. Old fellow iron, do you say I am right? The brake oil has been pumped out. Next, we add new brake oil. There are two scale marks on the brake oil pot. MA above is called the upper limit. The following MI is called the lower limit. Let's just add it a little deeper in the middle. OK. Here, the brake oil has actually been changed. If we want to change more thoroughly, you need to loosen the oil drain screw on the tire. This is very simple. It's like the radiator deflates at home. After shooting, this brake oil is completely painted. How about it? Have you learned? I'm brother soon. Pay attention to me. There are still the most afraid of these things. I don't know when there were scratches on the car. In fact, he is most afraid of toothpaste. Let's just put toothpaste on the scratch. Wipe clean with a towel. Um, tolerable. The scratch can be removed. Save the wrong money for repairing the car. Second, the wiper cannot clean the glass after a long time. And there's a noise. In fact, he is most afraid of detergent. Let's just put two drops of detergent on the windshield. The glass was scraped clean and bright. Third, old offset printing on glass is difficult to remove. In fact, he is most afraid of balm. Let's just go to the supermarket and buy a bottle of essential balm for 2 yuan. Put it on the towel. Here, align the position of the old offset and wipe it back and forth. Offset printing can be easily removed. Fourth, 
distribution scheme of hub meeting. I can't wipe it clean. In fact, we just need to get a bottle of toilet spirit in the kitchen, pour it on the wheel hub, flush with clean water. The wheel hub immediately became the same as the new one, fifth. In fact, he is most afraid of soap. Let's just apply soap to the door stopper. If you think about it, it will disappear. Six. The glass water is frozen, can't spray out. In fact, he is most afraid of erguo 2 Let's just add erguo 2 to the glass water. Glass water. It will never freeze again. The old driver always puts these things in the car. Well, how? The button of the car's elevator is broken. Then I asked for a stores. I said, what's the approximate cost of changing this? Then the answer of the 4th S store is that this can't be repaired. You still have too much money to replace the assembly of 2804. There's something wrong with the car. I'd rather spend hundreds W to repair it. I don't want to take a few seconds to solve it myself. First. Once the rear view mirror on the car is scratched, it is very easy to be damaged. After the damage, you go to the repair shop, and he will ask you to replace the whole assembly. Without your hand, we just need to take a car key, and gently tilt it from under the rear mirror. You can remove the old lens. Then we just need to go online, and spend a few yuan to buy a new lens of the same model. Aim it at the base of the rearview mirror and press it in gently. When you hear the sign, the whole rear mirror is painted. Second, after the wiper is used, it can't wipe clean. Let's just press and hold the small black spots on the wiper and gently swing them up. You can replace the wiper blade with a new one. Third, there was a sour smell in the car and the cooling effect of the air conditioning is not good. Generally, it's unnecessary to go to the repair shop if the filter element of the air conditioning is dirty. Let's just open the co-pilot's glove box. There is a clip in this position above. If we hold it down, we can put down the whole means. Take out the cover plate of the gun, and you can replace the air conditioning filter element with a new one. Fourth, we had a hard time opening the trunk, and I can't hold it. Actually, the hydraulic strut is broken. Let's just pry off this piece of iron, the screw rod and change it. Now the problem of the strut is solved. Finally, the current cars are all these electronic keys. Once there is no electricity, the door will not open. In fact, there is no need to change the battery in the repair shop. Let's just dig gently along the gap between the keys. After you can remove it, you can then pull out the button battery inside. Then go to the convenience store, and spend 50 cents to buy one of the same model for him to install back. The problem that the key doesn't have electricity is solved. The door can be opened smoothly. How about it? Have you learned it? I'm Brother Song. Pay attention to me, but there are still a thousand.